Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Windows updates are stuck at 30% or maybe 60 or 70%. There are a couple of fixes which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step to resolve this issue would be to delete the Windows Update Cache folder. Uh, to do this, you will have to open command prompt on your computer. Now in the search box, you can go ahead and type CMD. Uh, once you have the best match, on the right hand side, you will see an option which says run as administrator. Click on yes or continue on the screen uh, in case if you get a prompt. Now under this, um, you will have to go ahead and uh, type the commands uh, which I'm going to walk you through it. So the first thing what I would suggest you to do is I would go ahead and suggest you to type the command which says net stop WAV. I will also paste this command in the video description. So what you can do is uh, you can copy the command from the video description and do a right click and on the command prompt window that should automatically paste it or else you can do a right click on the task bar at the top and then click on edit and then click on paste. So either of this would work. Now hit enter. So what this will do is this will go ahead and stop the Windows automatic update services on your computer. So you will see a prompt which says Windows update services was stopped successfully. Once this is completed or, or you get this message, you will have to run the other command which is um, net stop crypt SVSS. It is a uh, cryptographic services. So you will have to end uh, end enter. So you will have to hit enter once you uh, type this command and you will see a message saying that the cryptographic services has been so stopped successfully. Once this has been completed, the next command is to stop the BITS services. So you can do a right click, um, copy the command, net stop BITS and hit enter. Uh, it's for the background intelligent transfer services. Once it is done, it says that it has been stopped successfully. And the last, you will have to go and type the MSI server, which is uh, the Windows Installer Services. Once you paste the command and hit enter, you will see that the Windows Installer Services has been stopped successfully on the uh, computer. Once all the services are stopped, you will have to go and minimize this window and then navigate to C drive. So you can click on the start button or you can do a right click on the start button here and then go to file explorer so once you have the file explorer you may go ahead and click on this pc or my computer whichever works for you and go to c drive under c drive you will have to go ahead and locate for a windows folder open windows folder under windows folder you will have to look for software distribution so you will see a software distribution folder now in case if you're not able to see this folder you will have to enable hidden files and folders to enable hidden files and folders you will have to click on see more and then click on options under options you may go ahead and click on view and check the box which says show hidden files and folders if you're not seeing this folder it is because uh, they don't show hidden files and folders or drives is being checked on your computer so you will have to click on this click on apply and okay and then you will see these uh, hidden files and folders now under software distribution in case if you have dot old it is because of your old software distribution you need not worry about that open the software distribution folder under software distribution you will see data store and under this you you may go ahead and delete uh, whatever files are there so you may go ahead and select it and delete the content what is there so in case if you're not able to delete you don't have to worry um, you may uh, leave it as is once it is done um, then I would suggest you to go back to the uh, software distribution under software distribution you will have to go ahead and delete the content which is there in the downloads folder so highlight everything what is in what is in this folder and hit delete once everything has been deleted then you will have to go back close this window go back to your command prompt and go ahead and start the services which we stopped to start the services i will also mention this command in the video description so all you have to do is you have to do a right click and uh, type the command net space start space w a u s c r v and hit enter and you will see the message saying that uh, the windows update services was started successfully once it is done um, type the net command to start the cryptographic services 
hit enter and then start BITS which is background intelligent transfer services hit enter and the last but least you will have to go ahead and start the windows installer which is one of the important services to install the updates so you can you may go ahead and do a right click and uh, that should automatically paste and uh, that should start the windows installer services once this is done you may go ahead and close the uh, command prompt window and uh, and the next step you may you may go ahead and either restart the computer and check for the updates but i would suggest you to go ahead and instead of restarting the computer directly um, you may go ahead and try these steps um, before you go ahead and install the updates so here what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and run the disk cleanup so in the search box you may go ahead and type disk cleanup as a best match you will see a disk cleanup as a, uh, as a result now here you may go ahead and click on it and uh, that would go ahead and give you a prompt for the disk, disk cleanup services so here you may go ahead and check all the files and folders here so basically what this will do is this will go ahead and delete some of the temporary files which are there on the computer sc uh, screen once it is done you may go ahead and uh, click on ok and you will get a prompt which says delete files you may click on delete files this will go ahead and uh, delete all the temporary files or the unnecessary files which are there on the computer basically what this will do is it will make up some free space on your computer once uh, this is done um, the, as a next step uh, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and restart the computer and try installing the updates and see if it works if it works well and good in case if it doesn't as a next step what I would suggest you to do is to run the Windows update troubleshooter to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you may go ahead and click on system on the left hand side and then look for troubleshoot under this section you may go ahead and click on other troubleshooter once you have other troubleshooter you have a uh, option for windows update this is the troubleshooter for windows update basically what this will do is this will go ahead and fix um, any issues uh, which you're facing related to windows update so you may go ahead and click on run it will try to detect the problem in case if there are any problems uh, related to your windows update so basically what this will do is this will again do the same um, the same step what we have performed in the beginning so basically it will stop the background intelligence services msi installer check for the software distribution folder see if there are any un unnecessary files in that folder it will try to go ahead and uh, clear those files and uh, it will do it by itself using the windows updated folder so uh, as a next step i would suggest you to do re-running or re uh, running this step uh, again on the computer basically uh, that should ideally fix the problem so in this case uh, what i see is check for the windows update issue detected so you may go ahead and click on OK. So in case if you see a, a problem there and uh, once it is done, once you click on OK, restart the computer again. And um, once you restart the computer, go ahead and click on services. In the search box, you can go ahead and type services.msc. Open the services if you see a best match for services open basically this will show all the services which are available for the computer uh, on your computer look for a windows installer here so it would be in alphabetical order so in my case it has been set to manual uh, so double click on it or you can do a right click and click on properties under properties um, i would suggest you to click on stop and click on start again once this is done click on ok and also look for windows update so windows update is been set to manual so let's do a double click on it click on stop in case if it has been startup type has been set to manual make go ahead and make it automatic click on apply 
start the services again. So we, what we have done here is we have set the Windows Update services to automatic and then restarted the service. Click on apply, close this window, restart the computer. Once you restart the computer, then try going in and installing the updates by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings. Once you're on the settings page, go to the Windows Update section, check for the updates and uh, see if, if the issue is resolved. In case if the issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. In case if you're still facing a problem in spite of trying all this step, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.